everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to cover a very fundamental and very important concept of SQL that is based on finding the difference between delete, truncate and drop command in SQL. Also, this is one of the most commonly asked and very important interview questions. So let's begin. So there are three commands in SQL when it comes to removing data from tables or entire database structures. So these three commands are the first one is delete command. The second one is truncate command and the third and last is drop command. So let's discuss about each of these commands in detail. So let's begin with the delete command here. So the delete command is used to remove specific rows from a table based on a given condition. The syntax of uh, delete command looks like this. Delete from table name followed by the where condition. Also, if no condition is specified, all the rows will be deleted. But the table structure remains intact. Also, this command can be rolled back if used within a transaction, making it safe for operations where you might need to restore the deleted data. Now, let's talk about the truncate command. So, the truncate command is used to remove all the rows from a table similar to delete without a where clause. However, unlike delete, truncate does not block individual row deletions and is therefore faster and more efficient for large data sets. The syntax of truncate command looks like this, truncate table followed by table name. Now let's talk about the third command that is the drop command. So the drop command is used to remove entire database objects such as tables, views or databases along with all the data contained within them. The syntax of drop command looks like this, drop table followed by table name. So this is all about uh, these three commands. So it's understand with the help of let's understand uh, more about these three commands with the help of an example so let's assume that you have the following employees table this employee table as you can see it contains four columns employee id name department and salary now as we know that the delete command is used to remove specific rows based on a condition or or all the rows if no condition is provided so the syntax of the delete command, uh, as we already discussed, it looks like delete from table name followed by the where condition. So in this case, uh, let's just apply this delete from employee where employee ID is equals to five. Now, after running this command, only the row with the employee ID is equals to five will be deleted and the output will look like this. So this is uh, the implementation of the delete command. Let's move on. Uh, let's now move on to MySQL workbench to understand it practically over there. So guys, as you can see, here is my employees table. If I just run this query, you can see that uh, all the records of my table has been displayed over here. Now, if I just r uh, run my delete command, so delete that I just discuss, delete from, from table name which is my employees table and I'm just going to specify condition that my employee ID employee ID should be equal to 5 now I will just run this and as I can see it is successfully now I just want to display all the records of my employee table again Now, as you can see that uh, the row with the employee ID is equals to 5 has been deleted. So after running this command, only the row with the employee ID 5 is deleted. Also, what if uh, I just want to delete all my rows? So that also. Uh, so if I, if I just want to delete all my rows, I'll, I'll not specify any kind of condition. So I'll just write delete from employees. So if I just run this and now let's just display all the records over here. So if I just run this, okay. So here you can see that this command deletes all the rows in the employee table but retains the table structure. So you can see these four columns are all laid over here. So the employees table remains in the database and is ready for new data to be inserted. So this is how the delete command works. Now let's move on to our truncate command. 
Now coming to the truncate command, as we know that trun truncate command is used to delete all the rows from a table quickly without logging each row deletion individually, making it faster than delete. So unlike delete, it cannot use a where condition and it resets uh, auto increment counters. So since we know the syntax of the truncate command looks like truncate table followed by the table name. So in this case, let's just run this truncate table and the table name is employees. So in this case, uh, our result will look like this. So in our output, as we can see that all the rows in the employees table are deleted, but the table structure remains intact and the auto increment counter for employee ID is reset to start from one. So the employee table can still be used for future data entries. So let's implement for, for the same. So guys, coming to the truncate command, uh, let's just run this. But before draw that, I would like to say that this is the employees table. You can also directly truncate it from here. If you just right click, you can see there is truncate table option. And if you just click on this, you'll be able to do that. But let's do it uh, manually. So I'm just going to truncate my table, truncate table and followed by the table name. So, so if I just run this and I will now display all the records. Select start from my employees. Now, in this case, if I just run this query, you can see that uh, the all the rows in the employees table are deleted, uh, but the table structure remains intact as you can see over here. So it's clear that the truncate command runs similar to the delete command if it if the delete command runs without a condition. In this case, if we don't apply any kind of condition and we just simply run the delete command, it actually deletes all the rows, keeping the output same. That is the table structure remains intact. Similar is the case with the truncate command. It also it also uh, removes all the rows, uh, keeping the table structure intact. So let's now move on to the uh, very uh, last and a uh, third command, which is our drop command. Now guys, coming to the drop command, as we know that drop command permanently deletes the entire table along with all, all its rows and removes the table structure from the database. So once executed, it cannot be rolled back and the table will no longer exist in the database. So now the syntax of the drop command looks like that drop table followed by the table name. So in this case, let's just drop this table. And now uh, executing this command will remove the employees table and all its data permanently. So trying to access the employees table afterward would result in an error since it no longer exists. So let's implement that as well. So guys, here let's just uh, write our drop command. So but before that, I would like to say that you can directly drop your table from here. So this is my employees table. If I just right click on it, there is one option of uh, drop table. So you can just do that. But uh, since I want to write it manually, so I'll just write drop table followed by the table name. So this is my employees table. Now, if I just run this command and again, I just want to display my all the records from my employees table, it will throw an error says that uh, employees table does not exist. So I hope you're clear with all the three commands now. So guys, here is a table that shows the complete uh, difference between all the three commands. So let's take a look at this. So for the delete command, it removes specific rows or all the rows, but remains the, uh, but remains the table structure. And it performs kind of row level deletion and the rollback capability is yes. And it is used to remove specific records. Coming to the truncate command, uh, the truncate command deletes all the uh, so the trun truncate command deletes all the rows from a table but keeps the table structure and this is the operation type is table level deletion and the rollback capability is no and it is used to quickly remove all the records. Now coming to the drop command, 
So the drop command deletes the entire table or database structure and its data and the operation type is object level removal. The rollback capability is no and the use case is it is used to permanently remove an object. So that's all about uh, the differences between all the three commands. I hope you're clear with the with all the three commands now. So let's meet in the next video guys. Thank you.